Uh, one thing I really can't help is that I am a fan of basketball. And I'm going to call this video Busted Lip Chronicles number one. Why I should never, um, or why I should own a sports team like the Lakers. Like for me. Okay, let's say I was the owner of the Lakers. I'm, I'm not emotional. I'm extremely, um, to me, objective. And I understand people. I study people. I'm still trying to learn. I'm not the expert. But for me, um, if I could pick a coach for the Lakers, it would have been Mark Jackson. Mark Jackson would have been my first choice. Why? Um, he commands respect. He understands the game. He understands where people should be and how they could play. He, from what I saw with the Warriors, uh, I thought he was let go unfairly. Um, because, man, to me, he was a dramatic personality. Not When I say dramatic, I mean he draws you in. So you're like, wow, I just really want to listen to what he has to say. And he commands respect and he understands offense and how people should play. Um a lot of people, I'm not saying they don't have basketball knowledge or their acumen with the sport is not as on par, but uh, it was no other choice for me first. Now, I would take Tyron Lue because Tyron Lue has Laker connections. Tyron Lue um, has a good uh, understanding of LeBron. He's worked with LeBron. He went to three straight finals. Um, yeah, he would garner some type of respect, and he is a former player. So I put him on the same par as Mark Jackson, but Mark Jackson would have been my first choice because he, he, he exudes... Uh, I'm the father. Listen to me. And to be a coach, you have to have your team follow you. You have to have them trust you. Um, I don't know Frank Vogel. I have uh, really no um, contrary positions to him. Uh, that's just what I just I, I have, how I see the game of basketball is, man, you got to have somebody you kind of look up to or somebody that when they say something, it, it, it is obvious. It may not be physical. Maybe it's behind the scenes. But um, yeah, a lot of name players that had it. Um, Popovich. Papa check, I said he has it. Um, Sloan had it. Um, a lot of other coaches have it. I can really think about it. Carl, Coach Carl, George Carl had it. Um, just that fiery. Um, even <laughs> um, Van Gundy had it. Just a little bit, like something about you. You listen to what they say. I don't know, I don't know much I would respect the Van Gundy, but who am I? But um, <laughs> you know, but yeah, behind closed doors, he could be a demon. So you gotta take it back. But it's just that. That's what I look at when it comes to the coach. And a lot of people, you know, they got two of uh It's, th it's not that that we're going to win. I don't accept excuses type stuff. And I like that. I like, um, you know, listen, you know, I'm real calm. But when it comes to getting something done, uh, my calm demeanor, um, well, yeah, it, it'll still be there. But it'll be pretty vicious when it comes to telling you what I want you to do. Do what I tell you. That's what I'm, <laughs> I got to keep it cool on camera. But I'd be like, do you not hear what I'm saying? You know, you better get out there and score. I'm going to knock your teeth out. Don't let, don't make that goal. You missed that shot, homie. Yeah, we're going to be cool in the camera, but I'm, I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to hurt you in the locker room, so you better not miss, punk. No, <laughs> I'm joking. Anyway, that's how I be thinking. You know, you better make this shot. And I, I, I be, you know, I, I, I give a little condolences. Come here, it's okay. You're scrub. Let's trade him. <laughs> trade him. Goddamn, can't make a free throw. Man, I don't care what you got to do, man. You better hit some free throws. Personal trainer, you better get your mental strength on. You better get some weights for your brain, brother. Get rid of the book. I don't know. Disciplines. Do some Buddhists. Do something. <laughs> I'm joking. But, um, yeah. Woo. I'm just telling you, that you guys should never let me uh, run a franchise, boy, because uh, a lot of people be cut, man. I, I cut you. If you're not dedicated to these millions I'm paying you, if you're not putting in work, dude, nah, man. If you ain't coming in performing at the utmost level, like some people would have... Never been blackballed. They would have been on my team. Ain't no way an Allen Iverson or a Baron Davis would have never been playing in my team. He crazy as hell. I would have got them together. We would have sat in the gym. We would have came up with how people going to roll. We would have talked about it. And we would have had discussions. I would say, hey, I do believe some things we're going to keep in private. But we're going to discuss this. We're gonna, you're going to know your role. And you ain't going to never go beyond your role. We're going to get that emotions out of here. We're trying to win, baby. And if you win, you're going to get paid. <laughs> Give me a team. I'm telling you, we, we would never lose. Let me, <laughs> let me do it. I ain't no quitters here. You know, if you quit, you need to go over there. We win, homie. I don't know. I ain't no damn excuse. I don't care. You got to hop on one toe. Get your ass out there and score a bucket. Damn it. <laughs> I don't care. You know what I mean? I I, Steph Curry wouldn't live without me. I'd be like, well, you want Steph? I'm going to shoot. I'm going to shoot too. <laughs> I ain't leaving the gym. I'm, I'm staying in the gym. You ain't leaving. We ain't leaving. We ain't leaving. Dude, if you can make it, I can make it. We going to stay here till we win. I don't care. <laughs> I should have listened to him and put a mouth guard on. We, we don't need you to dunk. <laughs> well, your wife wants you to do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, you should never give me a sports team, baby. Yeah, you know. Tell you, let Charles run a team. Let me run a team, man. Oh, man, I have y'all crying. You're like, damn, is this hard? I'll be all nice to you. Like, like, practice is never over. It's never done. Goddamn, run another lap. <laughs> Take another thousand shots. Hey, coach. <laughs> I'm tired. What that mean? I don't understand that. Damn it, are you alive? Get your ass back out there. <laughs> I'm 
don't give Charles the team, baby. I'm telling you, give Charles the team. <laughs> you know, like you say, somebody for president, Charles for the Lakers, president, give it to me. Damn it, we would never lose. <laughs> you know, <laughs> to be a fan, you got to get a Laker tattoo to come to our games. I'm joking, I ain't got no tattoo talking about that. <laughs> I'm joking, I'll be laughing at you too. I'm like, yeah, get a tattoo. It'll be one of those fake ones because I don't want you to be permanently marked. I want to scar your brain, you know, <laughs> have secret agents, you know, I mean, have espionage and people sitting, have a Clippers fans making them lose. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm getting off track. Anyway, I, I'm not, I am not sad. If Frank Vogel wins some games, man, and they, they bring in uh, somebody who can play or the team has chemistry, then I have nothing negative to say, you know, but um, from my outside looking in, y'all did my boy Magic kind of dirty Lakers, and I'm not too hot on that. I made him look like a not like magic, you know. Magic is still magic, though. Much love, bro. Even though you're from Michigan, you L.A. boy now. <laughs> my other, I got boys from Michigan. They L.A. boys, too. I love you. Live in L.A., you L.A. till you die. <laughs> I'm joking. Much love, people. <laughs> Wear a mouth guard. Learn to slam dunk. Shoot threes only. <laughs> Shoot threes in, unless you're in the bedroom. Then you got to take it hard to the paint. <laughs> go hard in the paint. I can tell you. I'm like, baby, I go hard in the paint. <laughs> All right, I'm done. <laughs> this is <laughs> Bustle Lip Chronicles number one. <laughs> Why I need to own a sports team like the Lakers. <laughs>